Welcome to part three in our series on story reporting. So in parts one and two, we worked on queries. And uh, today in part three, we are going to build a transactional table report out of the query we built before. So let's get going. Okay, so um, in the uh, first couple of uh, 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 videos in this series, we went through and explained the queries in, in some depth. Um, so today, what we're going to do uh, is really the easy part, and that is building out the uh, story table uh, report type, um, and we're going to then share it with someone. So uh, we're going to start with the uh, report we were working with, which is the basic uh, report example. And I'm going to go in and edit mode. And you can see here there are different types of chart uh, of, of uh, uh, objects we can add. And of course, you can add multiple objects to the to the canvas. Um, so this is a very, very rich and powerful tool, hoping to do more um, uh, um, reports, uh, excuse me, more videos um, off of this. Um, but for now, I just want to do something really simple, which is just add a table um, to the to the canvas so um, uh, of course a table is really simple it's what we think of as a traditional report I'm just gonna uh, expand this out you can see here I'm just gonna do actually do auto size uh, table and report vertically so and then I just uh, all I had done um, otherwise is just expand that out um, so that you can see the full thing notice right now all it's showing is a count because by default it's just thinking okay well you're just wanting to do some sort of um, um, summary report so um, but in our case, we're actually going to do something a lot simpler than that. So um, what you can see here really is just a bunch of ones. Well, we don't like that. So what we're going to do here is, and it's under Edit Designer in case you, you're in a different place. You just go to Edit Designer. And then from here, and, and make sure that you're also that you also have the table selected. Um, I'm, I'm mentioning all this because I've run into problems um, in the past where I couldn't figure out how to add fields to report, and it's because I did not have the table section itself selected. So make sure you have that selected. Then you go to Designer. You should see something that looks like this. Now you have the cross tab. If you're familiar with Excel, you're familiar with what that means. But we're just going to do a list. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add measures. Um, and dimensions and and so the dimensions of course are all the fields that we added in our query so I'm just going to select all of those and add those to our report and I actually don't need the count so I'm just going to get rid of that one so you can see here uh, uh, voila we've got all of those added in which is what we want and you can see here that I have all of these fields in my report um, now you can also see, uh, I don't really like the the order of things. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm going to sort these um, in a different way or I'm going to order them differently. Um, now, uh, the way we do that is in this section over here. We don't go over and drag and drop from here, but we drag and drop from this side. I'm just gonna select, I'm gonna start at, you know, dropping these things around. So I want the employee number first, the last name, the first name, um, then I've got the uh, position code, job title, name of the business unit, name of location. I'm going to also include this title. This is the uh, position title. So I'm gonna put that in here. All right, so now I have things ordered the way I want, but I really don't like the names for some of these things. I want something that's more meaningful to the end user, uh, even though these are the you know quote unquote official names inside of success factors. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select and from uh, and I'm going to look at individual columns and I can rename them. So I'm just going to call this employee number. And you see here that immediately uh, updates. Notice this up here is going to tell you that it's not changing the name in the data model itself when you change the name on the report, which, uh, yeah, that's kind of obvious. But uh, hopefully... Um, you know, uh, hopefully we can live with that. So I'm going to put first name in here. Change this again. I just click on this little uh, this little uh, um, uh, navigation menu. Hit rename, and then I'm just going to call this position ID. Rename position title. Job title. 
name, business unit, name, location. So that's one nice thing that you have here that you don't have on uh, just a regular table reports is I can't go and change the report um, itself. I can't, uh, uh, what, what, fields uh, what the field names the column names are um, I have to stick with what's what standard so that's a nice uh, new feature the other nice thing about this as compared with just your table reports is the table report front end is just absolutely um, uh, unusable um, this one is much much more user friendly so uh, you don't have to necessarily always be thinking of I'm going to uh, um, uh, show this uh, or I'm going to download this before I work with it at all. So this is a nice, you know, it's a lot a uh, lot prettier front end. Um, so you can see here I've added this in. Um, I can add filters directly here if I want to add filters and I'm just going to skip over that because we've seen that already. So you can add that at the query level or you can add that at the story level. So there's lots of flexibility there. So I'm going to, um, I'm in edit. Now I could switch this to view mode and instead of edit mode, and you can see here that the um, I have the report now displayed. Um, and so this is basically what end users see. Now, end users won't have the edit uh, capability if, they're not, if, if they don't have the authorization to do so. So this is pretty much what they're going to see. And you can see here I can, uh, as an end user, I could go in and do filtering, which we've already kind of discussed. Um, I'm going to go into full screen mode so that you know you can see how it looks with uh, without all the navigation uh, uh, features. So that is really what the end user would see. Now, um, end users uh, would also want the ability to do downloads. Now, downloads is um, you know one quibble I would have with uh, the way that this UI works is there's no button that that shows um, how to download. So actually, you just go to right click. And then I go to table functions and then I do export from here. So from here I can go to export um, and then you can see here point of view. That's just everything that's on uh, th that uh, this person can see. Um, and then CSV or I can do Excel, either one. It's just going to do a quick export. I'll show you what this looks like. Um, and then you can see here it just pops in and then I can uh, I'll show this over here. And so you can see here, it's it's really simple. It's just got the, the header and then the fields underneath. So uh, that's pretty much it as far as like how this works. Um, let me see, go back uh, to the report itself. All right, so this is the report. And so now um, that's, that's pretty much it as far as like uh, getting this all set up. Now, I'm going to, uh, let's see, I'm going to uh, change this out, exit, and I'm going to go back and I'm going to save this. So basic report example. So now I've, uh, I've um, not only created the query, which we did in prior reports, but now I've created the, uh, you know, the front end table um, on the story. So now we have a, a quote unquote an official story. So the story is all set up. So now I'm going to go to report center and um, spend just a little bit of time talking about sharing, um, which of course is not enough as an administrator to be able to create the reports, you need to be able to share them with people. And the, the UI here is pretty intuitive, so I'm not gonna spend much time on it, but I'm gonna select here, and then in order to get to the sharing abilities, we go over here to the navigation menu, and then we go to share. And from here, um, I'm going to show you here. So there's there's basically I can I can uh, share to a user specific users, which is uh, of course not nice feature. I can do to um, a group, um, and so you can see here I've got uh, my groups, which is dynamic groups or RBP permission groups, and that is uh, also something we can use. And then lastly, um, we can do to roles. So if I want to um, if I want to assign to a specific uh, role name. So like, I'm just going to put in super, let's see if there's a super here. So super admin, if I wanted to uh, uh, share this report with everyone that has a super admin role, uh, that's how I could go about doing it. So basically, um, what you can do is you just select what, who you, who or what you want to assign this to. I'm going to click here. You can see here, um, and this, this, this UI works pretty much the same, no matter what kind of um, user you're selecting. Uh, I do a search, I hit go, and then I see the match results. I can see here, 
and then RVP roles, and then I can press, and then you can see here I can uh, give them read access, edit access, or full access. So that's uh, you know pretty self-explanatory. I can press save, and that sharing would be complete. So, uh, and that's really pretty much about it as far as from a sharing standpoint. So hopefully you can see that uh, you know the front end, if you're just creating a table type, is uh, you know a, a table. Um, a chart uh, on a story, you know, the, the process is really pretty simple and is pretty much on par with the way that the table type um, uh, simple reports work, but it's just got a lot more functionality. And so um, in future videos, I'm going to be doing, uh, you know, some more complex things um, and, and showing how, uh, you know, show, showing how those works. But uh, for now, hopefully that uh, gives you an idea of um, what the, uh, the basics of the story reports uh, are like.